I'm on my way back home from Tiberias. I went to the post office and I sent packages, which I feel really good about getting those packages out. That is a good thing. A really, really, really good thing. I could, you know, there's a, a few products that I sent that it, that it gives me a little bit of, you know, a little bit of quiet in my mind that I know that I have products that are on their way that are going to be up for sale, that those things I can On the twin flame journey, there's nothing really new. I just, I miss him. I have this overwhelming feeling of, I just miss him. And I think that I think that maybe, maybe it's, it's like overwhelming because like I was debating with myself when I was in Tiberias, if I should call him and maybe, I don't know, offer to do something, maybe go out to eat something or go to the hot springs, even though it's boiling hot now. And there's a lot of traffic because it's Passover, so... I didn't know if I wanted to go out by my in in my own self, like if I wanted to go out to the hot springs or not. And I think that also like I I've, I've been feeling really strong in these last few days within myself. I've been doing my work and I just feel like I'm in the flow and I haven't been really obsessing and I think that I was kind of, that I'm kind of, don't know that I want to I guess I'm, I, I, first of all, don't know if I am in a place where I can hold the energy, you know, to, to be able to like hold the, the milcha, like the energetic field between us. And if I'm not sure that I can hold the, the energetic field and we are both the same, um, you know, if I was sure that I could hold the energetic field and also sure that I could take the, the no, like if, you know, because, you know, to call him is, you know, taking a big chance on him just saying no, I don't, I, you know, I'm, I'm eating carrots. I don't want to see you. I mean, that's what it feels like a lot of times when I call and I want to, you know, I offer us to do something. It's like, no, I'm just doing something else with myself. And, you know, it's, you know, that, no, I'm not in the mood. And I don't know that right now I really want to, you know, open myself up for that because it's painful. Oh, there's an accident there on the side of the road. You know, it's painful to open yourself up like that. And, and then this other side of, you know, I have all these, all these different sides. And the other side tells, well, also on that side, on the same side, it seems like whenever we're in touch or whenever he's in touch with me, it's always for like a specific thing. It's never just because he wants to hang out with me. So 
so I never get the vibe that it's just, hey, let's hang out. It's, uh, it's always has to do with something like, uh, we, you know, he called me on Friday to see if I was coming to the Rob Roy so we could meet up and, and it was, he was with his mother and it was so that because his mother wants to see me, it's never like, Hey, I want to see you or Hey, we're friends. You know, even though we are good friends and he's told me before that we're best friends. Anyways, so I'm going to stop this here. I have somebody getting in. So I'm going to go ahead and continue what I already started. I stopped for my neighbor here. He was... Um, Hitchhiking at the bottom, the soldier brought him home. So it seems like I don't know, there's two sides of me like there's the twin flame journey, and it's freaking real. And then there's the other side of me that says, like in the 3D world. I still have these doubts. Like I'm usually totally there. Like totally I see this journey. And I know he cares for me because there's no way somebody could pay so such close attention and know me to the depths that he knows me. Like a couple weeks ago, we were sitting on his balcony. I don't even remember what he said to me. He said something to me. And it was so far in to my being. Like, it was like, peekaboo, I see you. And so I know that he cares. And then I also have that side that says, okay... Even though he cares, there's a lot of things that just don't make sense. So. I don't know. I think also that like there's uh, I just saw that he posted something in Facebook. And I liked it. And I think that um, there's, like, in that way, we continue to have energetic um, contact. I don't know. I don't even know that I really have anything to say anymore about that. There's just so much pain in this freaking journey. I was going into this, in the supermarket and I was thinking to myself, I have like this empty feeling like I'm going, I used to like love getting home and baking and doing things and cleaning my house. And, you know, there's an atmosphere of holiday and it used to make me feel like I would love to get home after doing, uh, you know, going and doing a day in Tiberius and then, and then get home and I have my own little world and I've already done the things of the outside of my world and anymore I just feel empty and I come home and it still feels empty. And I don't want to feel empty. If I feel empty, then how do my kids feel? You know, I, I've i always been like their, their go-to. The, you know, they could count on me to be there emotionally for them. And anymore, I feel like I'm sweating because I closed this whole car so that I could talk on this video. I can't take it. It's too hot. And I'm crying and I'm freaking. I'm going to change my language. I guess you have to go down into the depths to be able to kick off from there, to know where you're at, to be able to rise above it. So 
that's also something that I say to myself, you know. Or maybe you don't. Maybe all you need to do is just change your perspective and not even think about those things. I was just talking to his mother. And she has like this genius, this simplicity genius to her. Spiritual genius. And she says, oh, just forget about it and then it'll disappear. If you bring it back up, you make it alive again. And that's right. It's real magic. And I was walking into the supermarket and I was thinking, you know, I used to feel full all the time. Even when I had things going on, it was just kind of, they were kind of on the, on the surface. And this emptiness is like all the way down into the depths of your being. And I figured, okay, well, I know why there's an emptiness. The emptiness is actually because you're breaking down like a video, the video that I did this morning, what I talked about this morning is where you're breaking down all of your belief systems. So, so I'm in a way better place than I was before because all these false beliefs are being broken down and taken out and I don't have to, you know, sit in them anymore. You know, I'm overcoming them and I'm putting in new things. And in the end of this process, I know that I'm going to be at a, and I'm already at a way better place than I've ever been. This is, you know, the, the best place I've ever been. At the same time, it's so freaking, freaking painful. So freaking painful. Tired of hurting. And I miss him. I miss him. I miss me. I just want to see him. Like, is that a, like a bad thing? Is that being weak? Is that being dependent? I don't think it's being dependent. I know that on this journey, the, the whole thing is to become whole so that I will become whole. You know, I am a um, whole person. But at the same time, I can be whole and see him too. And, and so what if I miss him? It doesn't mean I'm dependent on him. I miss him. Okay. Well, I'm going to end this here and I'm going to go up and I'm going to be happy and I'm going to put on music and I'm going to do what I want to do, what I need to do. I'm going to do some work and I'm going to make chocolate balls. I'm going to eat. I'm hungry. And I'm going to be happy. I am happy. Changing my words. <laughs> Not going to be in the future. Right now I'm happy. I'm happy with what is and the choices that I made. You know, there's a reason why I made the choices that I made. And I'm talking about the choices like not to call him today. I really would have liked to see him. I still would like to see him. I always like to see him, almost. Okay quitting the obsessing. Actually, I'm not even obsessing. I'm just talking about it. Okay, I'm ending this here. Thanks for watching.